So, to decoupage a floor, this is already dried and it's nice and hard. You can tell it just, it kind of looks like floor tiles. Got a few wrinkles here and there. The yellow spots, um, when you go to decoupage and your glue's wet, don't paint your wall. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. So, I could have peeled all that back up and then I thought, you know what, um, my coffee table's gonna sit all, all along there and then there's a, uh, a cat litter box covering that's gonna be built there, so. Okay, lesson learned. So, wet paper got on my decoupage, or wet paint got on my decoupage floor while the glue was wet. And that was just spattering. <laughs> that just spattered down there from the roller. Anyway, all I do is I cut up this painter's paper that you can buy at any um, big box floor uh, home improvement store by the roll. And then I just kind of, well, these were actually... This is actually recycled from when I covered my screen so that I could paint. I don't waste anything. Then I take those down and I took the paint or the tape off and uh, I just kind of either cut them up or or tore them in squares. Nothing is, is even, nothing's measured. I don't measure any of this. And then I like to wrinkle it up, give it kind of a, a leathery look. And then your glue, um, from what I read, your glue has to be, and I just buy these big jugs like this. Good luck finding those. I looked at two different big box stores. I found two in one store, one in the other, and that was it. They weren't gonna order anymore, the big uh, gallon size. I'm here in the US, so this is a gallon. Um, I don't know what's up with the big containers of glue, but whatever, I was lucky enough to get three total. And then I do one part glue, or three parts glue to one part water. And then I just slap it on with a paintbrush. I'm not one of those type A personalities. I don't have to go ahead and, and put everything down and lay it out and all that. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just more um, free-spirited, different type personality. I just lay them out as they fit, so. Anyway, they'll dry with a nice hard, that nice hard feeling, um, almost like a shell. And it looks really cool. I like the, the black spots that show up. I think that's really neat. And uh, I like this torn edge here. I just think that looks so cool. So I'll put a probably uh, end up four to five layers of polyurethane on top of it. And then my throw rugs. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm decoupaging the whole floor out here. Looks like a hot mess right now. Hopefully I can show you an after soon. All right, so what I do is I just lay my square down and I get it all covered with glue. And sometimes I lay it on top of the last one because that helps that side get wet. And then I just set it out, kind of position it where I want it. And then I paint over the whole thing and get a nice good coat and really pay attention to your edges. I don't mind these little ripples like this. I'm hoping what happens is that when it dries, it's like this, that the polyurethane will be thick enough that that will lie down good. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is an experiment. So... I like the way it looks though so far. So except for my paint mistake. <laughs> hey, you gotta take the go with the bad, right? <laughs> and keep your sense of humor. So I have this idea. I've had these pressed leaves and flowers for quite some time. Not those, but like stuff like this. And I thought, you know, I don't really do much with this. I used to make cards out of it. What if I put this sporadically into my floor? Like under, like this. And then polyurethane on top of that. You think that's gonna last? I don't know, but I think it's kind of a cool idea. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna sort of sporadically put a splash of flowers from my old yard, my old gardens. 
my former gardens in my floor. I don't know. Will it last? I don't know. We'll have to see. So I came out the next day to check out the floor. And wouldn't you know it, I've got to learn another lesson. I used a used paintbrush. So I got all these little flecks of white paint. Ugh. Will I never learn? Oh, and they're like disposable paintbrushes too. I totally could have just thrown that away. But oh well. It's in one spot. I keep telling myself this. It's in one small spot of the floor. So I don't know. I just... It, it'll probably be something that'll drive me crazy and I'll keep trying to sweep it a thousand times a day. But anyway, so you can see like the little leaves and the little flowers and things are all nice and glued down. And I'll have to put at least five coats of polyurethane on it. And so I'm just using, using these flowers that I collected from my gardens. Oops, I went crazy on, on the heather one year. I don't know, it's kind of thick, I don't know. And I always thought these leaves were really pretty and there's a piece of grass, I don't know if I'll put that grass in there, but that's kind of pretty. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What am I out? I mean, really, what am I saving these flowers for, right? I like those, those are pretty, right? Who wouldn't want those in there for? And haven't you been in those shops where they have like a dime glued to the floor and, or a quarter? Now it'd be quarter. And people stop and try and pick up the quarter. So why not? Sure, of course I can glue flowers to the floor. Why not? Why not? My husband's like, this is like a foo-foo palace. I can't live in that. <laughs> it's my foo-foo palace. Go build your own man cave. He can do whatever he wants with his shop. If he wanted this to be more manly, he should have been here, right? It's my foo-foo palace. And I'm going to glue flowers to the floor if I want to. And those are pretty, right? I like them, and that's all that matters. That's what people keep saying to me. You like them, that's all that matters. All right, I'm gonna keep on going.